Hello and welcome to Video Reveal. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, 2UP Sequence Viewing in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're already using this, then you know how important it is. If you're not, it's probably because you don't even believe that this is possible. It's so freaking simple, this tutorial will be over in no time. But I find it really valuable when I need to see two parts of the same sequence at the same time. Maybe I'm trying to match color from the beginning to the end, which is the example I'm going to show. Or I'm trying to line things up or remember what happened earlier. Bottom line is, you can easily open any full sequence in the program monitor and the source monitor at the same time. Let's go have a look. So I've got a sequence here and um, whenever you double click on a sequence and you can see there's my sequence over here, I'm looking at it in list view just because it's easier to see that sequence. And when of course, when you double click on a sequence and if I have no sequences open and double click on it, then that's what it looks like. It opens up in the uh, timeline on the other side. All right, so that's all well and good. But what if I needed to match a shot? For instance, I've now come down to this shot here and I know I opened up with that exact same shot and I know that the color looked different. I can remember something with the color. Well, I'll go back to the beginning and oh, sure enough, there's a bleach bypass effect put on that particular clip. Well, I don't want to keep running back over to here and back over to there and see it. If I double click on that clip, it opens, but it opens without the color correction. Now I could be doing this color correction in as a master clip effect and then it would show up, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm working with color on the timeline. I want to see both of them at the same time. You won't believe how easy this is. All right. So as I mentioned, double clicking on a sequence opens it up over here in our timeline. But if you right click, you can choose to open it in the source monitor. Yeah, ba da ba do. It's that easy. The whole sequence is loaded in that monitor. And you can also drag into that. So if I double click on one of these, now I've, I've got a regular clip inside. If you click on the sequence back in the uh, project bin and drag it to the source monitor, it's the same thing. So I can find that same clip there we are. And actually, if I'm hitting the up and down arrows, if you're not familiar with that keyboard shortcut, I'll show it to you in the actual uh, timeline over here. Up and down arrows are the typical keyboard shortcut to jump between cuts. Well, if you have a sequence loaded like I do over here and you're choosing up and down arrows, you can also jump up and down between those. You can hit the space bar and play and JKL and all of those things. But let's go back to our first clip over here and then back in the timeline, I'll go to where I've got my other sequence and now I'm trying to match these two sequences and I'm working on color. So I'm going to go up to the top to my color workspace and you notice that it hides everything and brings up my effects control so I can go back and click on uh, the source sequence so I'm looking at it instead of my scopes and if I had enough screen real estate I could pull the effects controls and the scopes out but let's say I'm trying to affect this clip right now and try to find the right um, look that I applied and when I find it oh there it is click on it and now I'm done I was able to match that because now I can see the timeline in two separate places at the same time. That's really essential uh, for color work. You're constantly looking at other uh, clips and matching these um, or for reference. And again, editing, position, eye line, something uh, that you needed to look at a different part of the sequence. It sounds pretty simple. And like I said, if you're already using this, then you're probably uh, thinking, yeah, I use this all the time. But there's lots of people who don't even know that this is possible. But now now you do and hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please subscribe to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Well, until next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you synced up on the timeline and looking your best.